Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Isabel, the bell half of Paybell, and today I'm kind of coming for Pay's brand a little bit. I am going to be finally, finally, finally putting away some photo cards. Our Neokyo order that we've been talking about for probably months at this point has finally arrived, so I finally have some photo cards to put away. There is one particular set of photo cards that I am not going to be putting away in this video, and those are my Jung Yun photo cards, because I am actually very, very close, excitingly enough, uh, to finishing my album collection for her, and I am hoping to put together a video on that separately, so I won't be showing those in this video, but I have plenty of other cards to put away, including brand new collections. So, without further ado, do. let's get started <laughs> we are going to start I have a lot of Teha photo cards to put away so we are going to start with those I think I need to do a little bit of reorganizing so bear with me while I do that real quick Okay, perfect. So I have procured the very last photo card in this style that I need. This one actually is the Japanese band release event photo card. So it is designed in the same style as the Japanese fan meeting photo cards. Uh, so of course I will be putting it in with those just because they all go together. This one is a broadcast photo card. There is actually one more broadcast photo card for Teha that I am aware of. I have not seen it for sale anywhere yet. I do really want it. Um, it's from Wonderful Love Era with that purple background. You've probably seen them if you're a fan of Momo Land and you collect some of their other cards. Um, that one is definitely on my list. I don't have anything from Wonderful Love Era because that album is out of print and so it is very hard to find, but I am interested in picking it up. And then these two are from the 2018 fan meeting, so I think I'm going to put them in the same sort of area as the fan club photo cards. So what I might do is put that here for right now. I don't necessarily want to collect all the unit photo cards, but I think it's worth it to have sort of a matched set. And then this one is the photo card that goes with the Mary fan club kit. And then I only have one more album photo card to put in and that is her freeze photo card. So I will be putting that in here. I still need the Selka version, but for now that'll do. And then we are going to do the HMV High Touch. Japanese Tsutaya photo card. There are still two more sets uh, from this one here, which is the Japan First Mary Lane Season 1. There's the unit bromide as well as her in the alternate outfit. I have seen those. I might pick them up. They were a little bit pricey for me for what they are, but I'm hopeful to pick that up as well as the Tsutaya and King eShop for uh, this shoot as well. And then I also, in my quest to finish Teha, picked up all of the Japanese Boom Boom <laughs> stickers so what I think I'm going to do is double up Teha just to keep her together and then I will put all of these in here Hi, 
behind on the back. on the back. Diane with Daisy on the back. And Joy with Yano on the back. I also happened to pick up this iron photo card as well as the Daisy bromide. I am not sure where I will put them, possibly with my miscellaneous items. I feel like if I'm going to put these here, I should put them here. Um, yeah, I think I want to put her on the back of this for now. This is Fun to the World I am. <laughs> that does me in for Momo Land. I have the Mia sticker, which I'm actually not going to be putting here in with my Gong Won Sonyo photo cards. I'm going to be putting this in with my stickers. It is still wrapped up really nicely from the person who traded with me. I have the Seok Young sticker. I am going to put this in with my stickers, so just wanted to show that to you. And then, I think I need to de do some rearranging on my boy group photo cards as well. I have a Kyung Soo photo card to put up here with EXO, but because I have so many NCT things now, I think what I'm going to be doing is put NCT on their own page. And then I will show you all my brand new collection, which I'm starting. So let's do that. Move Yoongi over for now. Happy birthday, Yoongi. I'm filming this on his birthday. <laughs> and those of you who have been following me for a little bit know that I am now into Stray Kids. So I have these really great Bong Chan photo cards to put in. I also have a few more coming in on my next Mercari batch coming through. I got a Levanter album, so that will be really nice to have a few more photo cards. And then of course I'll have to expand it to its own page from there. But for now, just these. So I think I will just organize them like this. And once again, I am well aware that these sleeves are the worst. And I am going to be ordering some new Trikin sleeves. But Pitt brought up a pretty good point the other day. And I am also kind of considering getting one of those albums where they're like the A5 size. I think those are so cute and people have done really, really creative things with them. So I am definitely tempted. Do you collect that way? Do you have anything like that? I think they're so cute. What is happening here? Okay, that's fine. And then do you This is a nightmare and I'm sure it is miserable to watch. I am so sorry. This is horrifying. Sorry. He's just gonna go in there. On his own. And then to close out this binder, I have some Pentagon things. So this one I procured in a trade. Someone traded my Yanan for Kino. So now I have a Kino. I don't really know what my Pentagon collecting goals are. <laughs> it really depends on how many albums I order. And with Love and Take coming up, I truly have no clue. There are 144 photo cards. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I already have so many, but with the concepts being what they are, I really think that I could be tempted. <laughs> so we'll see. But for now I have 
Get on in Kino, get on in Kino. So that'll be nice. I should flip the order of those so that matches a little better. But for now, I'm just moving things into place. My friend was also kind enough to bestow upon me some Shinwon goods. So I have the Shinwon scratch card now as well. And that looks beautiful. So I genuinely might collect all of these just cause look how nice they look together. These are so pretty. And then I have, I know that's gonna probably be quite hard to see, the Shinwon bookmark. And I have just solidified a trade for a Kino bookmark because I both I had both of Yanan's before. So I'm trading his unseen bookmark for a Kino bookmark. So that'll be nice. And then Ria also hooked it up with some more of the Black Hall stickers. So now I have almost all of them. I don't remember who I'm missing at this point, but I think I have seven now. So not far off, very exciting. <laughs> But that takes care of that. Look how good they look on the back too. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so there are my sort of miscellaneous collections going through. And now we can go through. I have actually a few 17 photo cards to put away. So I will start with that. All right. So I actually don't have any McCall photo cards to put away right now. I'm actually waiting on a few that I've ordered from group orders and then I think in the next Mercari batch. But I do have plenty of Joshua to put away. So, oh man, why did I do this to myself? So I'm gonna have to reorganize all of this, so bear with me. <laughs> this you made my dawn one so maybe what I can actually do is I will move the sticker put him in there for now An ode. and I have his other set version photo card so that'll be really nice to have maybe I actually won't need to do too much rearranging for now as ever I'm not 100% sure of what I have going on at any given time <laughs> but this one I have some fan sign photo cards as well as training cards so I'll definitely be relocating these which means I can move Japanese photo card with the other Japanese photo cards. Put this sticker here just for now. Once I have more, <laughs> I can organize them a little bit better, but I will definitely be moving these training cards, this one can stay, into a new one. Uh, okay. You're watching me make all these decisions in real time. This is why with the Ming Hall ones, it was a little bit easier because I just left space for every single card. Whereas with Joshua, I never expected to want to collect all of his cards so that was never an obstacle before, but now it is. But we all make decisions and we all must live with them. So these are the semicolon fan sign photo cards that I just pulled out. But I procured some Hengare photo cards from fan signs. So I will be putting those in first. This one was pretty much a grail photo card for me for a while. I really, really wanted this and I was lucky to find it. I think I overpaid, not by too much, but I, we all know we do some questionable things when it comes to our collections. So we do what we must. These two must stay together, of course. one in the middle. 
little because I love it. Horizontal photo card, really. And then put these ones in. One Josh. Dark haired fan sign Josh. Perfect. And that looks great. And then I was able to pick up some trading cards. So these ones are all from the Japan Dome Tour set. So they all go together. And yes, I do have a duplicate of this card now. And that is okay because I have a plan for this. And when the next Mercari order comes in, I will show you. So I will be setting one of these aside. one from the 2019 carrot land so I think I will just leave that no I will put that here it deserves to be here it's the same genre I love unit photo cards I've talked about it before I just think they're so cute there's something really special about them ones are big enough that they don't really need the sleeve anyway. But look how nice that looks. And I found a trade for the very last Carrotland 2020 photo card that I need. So this page will soon be finished too. I'm so excited. Yes. And then very last thing is my good friend Katie was able to sell me the love and letter bookmark forming haul. So we will be putting that in the back here. I think I will put that in here with this just because it's a little too small to merit its own space but it looks really good with the going 17 paddle. I would really love a better way to organize this but I really like that they're chronological. I think that makes sense to my brain. <laughs> I do like to keep all of the Moon Call inclusions together because his are really the only ones that I was actively seeking out from each album. I'm almost done. I actually only have a few to go, but I do have some other member inclusions, so we will see what to do from there. But that actually does me in for today. Thank you so much for checking out my collection. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching me put away photo cards. It is really exciting to be able to actually see the progress. For a while it's just been me editing my wish list and so I know I'm quite close but physically in person you can't see that progress because I didn't actually have the cards on hand so it's really really cool to be able to finally put them all away and see what they all look like in my collection it brings me a lot of joy to finally have them so that's what it's all about I am actually changing the way I collect some photo cards and I am picking up new collections that I previously didn't think I was necessarily allowed to collect because I don't necessarily stand a particular group all the way or I felt obligated to finish a collection in the same way that everyone else does but what I've discovered is that doesn't work for me. 
I want to collect only the photo cards, photo card sets, members that make me happy. And I think that's the whole point of this hobby, right? Is if it's not bringing you joy anymore, figure out a way to bring that spark back. Remember why we liked it. And for me, that's this, <laughs> you know? So I hope you are all doing well. I hope you stay well and find something to be happy about today. Thanks for stopping by. I can't wait to share with you another video next week. See you later. Bye-bye.